All right, so we were talking about painters painting pictures and artists creating music and architects creating uh, their uh, buildings and so forth. Okay, now, when an architect creates a building, he draws the blueprints up for it and he has it constructed, okay? Then, when the building is done, he goes into the building. So now that he is becoming part of his own creation, okay? And let's say, for instance, a photographer wants to take a picture, so he sets up the shot, okay? So he puts his camera up on the tripod, he sets his timer on the camera for like 10 seconds or whatever, he pushes the button, and then he jumps around in front of the camera, and then the shutter automatically snaps after 10 seconds. He put himself into his own creation. You get it? You, you see where I'm going here with this now? Like a musician, he creates his music, okay? He creates his composition, he writes it down on paper, and then he gets a band together, and then he picks up his guitar and he jams out with the band, and now he's in his composition. You understand? He becomes a part of it. That's what I'm talking about. God stepped out from without time into time. Okay? Okay? Are you getting that? And here's how it happens. God created the earth. Okay? And first there was like, let there be light. And there was the sun and then the earth. And of course, days followed and so forth. And on the sixth day, he took the clay and he built it up into an image of himself. And then he blew the breath of life, which is his own spirit... His own spirit went into his own creation then. Just like an architect walks in his building when his building is completed. You got that? That's a pretty simple analogy so you can understand it. Alright? Now I want you to understand it clearly. Because Jesus is the guy who said he's the first. Now you can't have a first... Jesus said, I'm the first and the last, right? You can't have first unless you got time first. You can't have time unless you got energy. So mass in motion, you got to have a world rotating around the sun before you even get to time. And then you need time before you can even have a first. So that first person is who Jesus says he is. Jesus says he's the first. So what does that mean in all simplistic terms? What does first mean? Right? Jesus said I'm the first. It means he is in time. You, you see what I'm saying? He's not outside of time no more. He's in this reality. Okay? Are you, are you getting it?